Problem 1 is based on flip-flops. A new flip-flop is having behavior as described. It has two inputs, x and y. And when both the inputs are same, we have two inputs, x and y. And when both the inputs are same, it means when both are 0, 0, and when both are 1, 1, the flip-flop is going to set when they are 1 1 the flip-flop is going to set and uh, for the other cases that is 0 0 the flip-flop is going to reset so simply when x and y both are 1 the flip-flop is going to set this means the output is equal to 1 and when both are 0 the flip-flop is going to reset it means output is going to be a 0 so this is the information about the uh, two cases or the two possibilities and uh, for the next two possibilities when x is 0 y is 1 x is 1 y is 0 we have to read the question further if the both inputs are different it means 0 1 1 0 they are 0 1 the flip-flop complements itself when they are 0 1 the flip-flop will complement itself and uh, for the other case it is going to retain the last state it means memory and the other case is 1 0 so it is going to be the memory now we have to find out the characteristic equation for this new flip-flop we have all the informations that we need and we have to only find out characteristic expression for this new flip-flop so let's start with it we have to make the table first Q is the present state, X, Y are the two inputs, these are the two inputs and Q plus is the next state, right? And uh, if you remember the characteristic table, we have to find out the expression for the next state, Q plus. That's why we have three inputs and hence eight possible combinations, 0, 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 and the rest four combinations are 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and the final one is 1 1 1 right so we will use this information right over here to find out the next state when both x and y are 0 the flip-flop is going to reset it means the next state is going to be 0 so the next state is 0 and uh, when x is 0 y is 1 from here you can see x is 0 y is 1 the output is going to be the complement of the present state so the next state is the complement of the present state and uh, the present state is 0 so next state is going to be 1 very simple and uh, when input x is 1 y is 0 from here you can see the next state is going to be same as the present state because we have memory for this particular condition so present state is 0 next state is also going to be 0 because 1 0 is for memory in this new flip-flop this is the characteristic table for the new flip flop right and these are the conditions for this new flip-flop when both are 1 1 you can see from here the output is going to be 1 because it is the condition for set so output is 1 and in the same way we will fill for the next four cases 0 0 we have reset 0 1 we have complement so complement of 1 is going to be 0 1 0 we have memory Q the present state is 1 so next state is also going to be 1 1 1 is the condition for set so output is going to be 1 we have Q plus and uh, now we will use the K map to find out the expression uh, 8 cell K map is required this is our 8 cell K map the input on this side will be the MSB MSB is Q and LSB is Y so we have Q X this is capital X and Y 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 let's fill this map 
zero one zero one so zero one zero one then we have zero zero one one zero zero one one we will make the pair like this this is the first implicant this one is the second implicant and this is the k map for q plus that is the next state so q plus is going to be one or two we will find out the value for implicant one it is simply q complement right from here you can see q is not changing q complement and uh, x is zero then it is one for this next cell y is one and it is one so x will be neglected and we have y q complement y for the first implicant and for the second implicant we have q and uh, x is one it is one again y is one and it is going to be zero so we will neglect y and we have x so q plus is equal to q complement and y or q and x let's see if we have this option or not q complement y q complement y q and x q and x so option a is correct for this problem number one a very interesting problem easy at the same time but you have to be careful while writing these conditions if you make any mistake in this condition the flip-flop your new, new flip-flop is going to be something else so we will move to the problem number two now the minimum number of flip-flops required in modulo 8 counter a very basic and a very easy problem I have just given it so that you may recall what we have done in the counters from the start and I'm not going to solve this because there is nothing to solve in this problem you have to just use what you have studied and uh, find out the answer once you have your answer post it in the comment section this is all for this part of practice problems see you in the next one